here tonight? No. No, I'm here to see a beautiful lady. Mm. That's different. <laughs> and buy them a banquet. Send out posts to patrol the town. Pedro, Vicente, Jose, you got the front. Pablo, Enrique, Virgilio, you men take the back. Have you come to see the beautiful Miss Cordell, Senor Granero? Yes, sir, I like to see her alone. Send away your audience. My audience left when they heard you and your men coming. Then give her back the money. There'll be plenty left for you. Thank you, senor. Thank you. Come in. Thank you. Juan, Pancho. Have you disposed your men? Yes, Pancho. Tell them to keep a good watch. I don't want to be disturbed. Pancho! 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 Be quiet, all of you. He has come here to be alone with the beautiful Miss Corday. Let him enjoy the lady in peace. Music! Sweetheart, I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you look at the bottom of the pool? Again, that same fellow to make love to her. If the kisser said this time, I kill him. His lands cover these hills for miles around, and his cattle are in every canyon. And he has no wife? No, but it's said that he'll marry Manuela. The sister of Juan is my Yerdomo. Look, there she is now. Oh, that? 
had a long ride. And we're hungry as a pack of wolves. The food will be ready soon. Ah, good. What happened when I was away? Nothing. Nothing but lonesomeness. I miss you, Pancho. I wonder if you ever miss me. Of course I do, little sister. I'm not your little sister. I haven't even the slightest feeling of a sister for you. <laughs> what kind of feeling have you got, Manuela? What's that to you? What's your face? Oh, I forgot. Here's a telegram for you. Pablo brought it in from Santa Rosa. A telegram for me? Juan, Manuela, look at this. Hello, Hello Pancho, stop. stop. Tune in on Owen Coffee Hour Tuesday night. Stop. Had a surprise for you. Stop. How is tricks? Carion. He stopped too much. I don't understand. Stop means a period, stupid. When you come to a stop, well, you stop. But what's the use of stopping if you've got to start all over again? You don't start all over again. You just start again from where you stop. Understand? Pretty good. Not too much. Is this from your American friend? Yes, from Gary Owen, whose father owns the coffee plantations here. Today is Tuesday. This surprise must be for tonight. This telegram was sent from San Felipe yesterday. From San Felipe? That's what it says. Then he must be visiting here in Alturas. Wait till you see him, little sister. Don't call me little sister. Watch your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you're going to love that, Gary. Mr. Hara, Mr. Gary Owen, Mr. Montes, Mr. Gary Owen, Mr. Coro, Mr. Gary Owen. The name is Gary Owen, sir. These gentlemen represent the press of San Felipe. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you. Brocaso tonight is just to our country. That's right. Or does this broadcast go outside of Alturas? No, tonight's broadcast is international. My father sponsors this hour, which is broadcast from New York. But tonight we're cutting in on the New York program to introduce a guest star who is known to every nation. When can we with me, Will she give us an interview? Oh, she's so beautiful. Shh, gentlemen, big boy, we are about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, this part of the Owen Coffee Hour is coming to you right from where the coffee grows, from San Felipe, the capital city of Alturas. The guest star of tonight's program is a lovely lady whom you all know. She's making a personal appearance to her and is now in Alturas. It is my great privilege to introduce to you that glamorous star of the screen, Miss Diane Corday. Hello, everybody. Diane Corday, she's here in Alturas. I don't know why the silly gadgets I'm talking into should make me feel so frightfully nervous, but it always does. I want you to know that I'm delighted to meet you all, even though I can't see you. And we are delighted to meet you. The only thing I don't like about it is that you all seem so far away from me. Look, Manuela, that's Miss Corday herself, appearing in her own person. Oh, Gary, Gary, say something. You don't want to hear from me. Well, I'm sick. In fact, I'm sick. The lady says she's sinking, but it's all right because she's got a life preserver around her at this moment. There's nothing to be nervous about. Introducing Gary Owen, Jr., son of the famous American coffee king. Why do that to me? <laughs> well, I, I, they, <laughs> I'm sinking. Now, give me the life preserver, will you? Well, now that I'm on the air, Deanna, I'll, uh, I'll have to talk about what I asked you to talk about, only uh, we'll talk about it together. I asked a boyhood friend of mine to listen into this broadcast tonight. That's me, Manuela. See, I spent my kid days right here in the Republic of Alturas, and it's just like home to me. And I'm wondering whether he got my message. I got it, Gary. Look, here it is. Pancho is one swell fellow, Dion, and I know you'd like him. He thinks she'd like me. I'm sure I would, Gary. She's sure she would. He lives in this hacienda up in the mountains, many miles from here. And if we weren't leaving San Felipe tomorrow, we'd have a chance to visit him. But I just wanted him to know that we were thinking of him. And, um, uh, I... I <laughs> Well, I guess it's time to stop, Dianne, you... Good night, everyone, and thank you so much. So long, folks. I'm switching you back to the New York broadcast of the Owen Coffee Hour. This is Wilbur Hitchcock speaking, representing Miss Corday. And don't forget, good people, in Owen's Coffee, there are no grounds for divorce. Why didn't Gary tell me Diane Corday was coming here? How could he know you wanted to meet her? Besides, you would be arrested if you went to the capital. Don't forget that you've been exiled to this province. Haven't you had fighting enough with the government? Oh, I don't care about the government. But you must care about Valdez. He hates you. 
And now that he's military governor of our province, he's just waiting for you to get into trouble again. He'll be glad to arrest you and shoot you. <laughs> A man can be shot but once. All right, once is enough. Juan, get some men ready to ride with us. We leave tonight for Santa Rosa. Are you crazy? Pancho, what are you going to do? I'm going to find out what train Gary and Miss Corday will take from San Felipe. Don't worry. I won't be too much of a fool. Order your men, Juan. All right. If you ask me, I don't think they have any wheels on this car. There's always the last car on a train that gets the worst joke. Then why don't they put the last car in the middle? Oh, hold still, Wilbur. How can I cure your headache if you keep jumping around? I can't help jumping around. My stomach is full of pinwheels. It's a good thing for me we've got a nurse with this outfit. I'm no nurse. Rosemont, get Mr. Hitchcock's medicine, please. <coughs> Listen, Wilbur, I want you to understand that I brought Jenny along as my personal secretary, not to cure your hangover. But, but Deanne, what, what's a good press agent with, without a hangover? Those San Felipe newspaper men were so nuts about you that they couldn't stay sober. And I had to get drunk so I'd understand what they were talking about. Don't tell me there was just alcohol you were drinking. No, that was a wadi empty. That means fire water. What did they do, bathe you with it? No, they just held me open and poured it in. Must have thrown in a couple of the bottles, too. One shot of that stuff and you howl like a wolf. Two shots and you begin biting yourself. Look at me, I'm all black and blue. Here's your magnesia, Wilma. Girl! You know, Dion, there's only one thing wrong with this trip. Only one thing? Mm -hmm. You and I should have been married before we left New York. You insisted on coming along. I told you it wouldn't look nice. Oh, I don't mean that. Jane and Rosamond are tough enough to chaperone the entire Navy, with the Marines thrown in. But this could have been our honeymoon. Just imagine that. You imagine it, Gary. Well, what do you think I'm doing? And incidentally, when are you going to marry me? I said I would. No, but you said you might. I don't have to tell you how crazy I am about you, do I? Well... You've been crazy about too many girls before. Well, I always had a bad cold then or something. But this, this is the real thing. This is pneumonia. Doubled and redoubled. I'll tell you why. Let you and I get married the minute we get to the next town. What do you say? Well... Perhaps. Good gracious, what's that? <laughs> What's going on? It looks like 
Granero doesn't hold up trains. Don't, Don't punch you, Granero. Yes, I just want to greet the brave crew of this splendid train. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What's wrong? What are you doing? Why have you stopped here? What is the meaning of this? Who dares to stop a National Limited? This is an act of war. No, no, my friend. My apologies. But this is love. Not war. Juan, you explain to the chief of the National Limited why we're here. That Pancho Granero. I don't care who he is. He cannot do this to a government train. <laughs> Where did you pop out of? Out of my hills? Did you think I was going to let you leave Alturas without uh, seeing you? Oh, Gary, you are so glad to see me. I don't know how to tell you. Yeah, well, take it easy, fella. I'm plenty glad to see you, too. You look, isn't he a bandit? A bandit? Don't be silly. That's my old friend, Pancho Granero. Pancho, I want you to meet Wilbur Hitchcock. Wilbur, front page Hitchcock. Miss Corday's publicity counsel. And Miss Jane Evans, Miss Corday's secretary. How do you do? I'm happy for you to know me. But where is Miss Corday herself? Inside, hiding a jewel. What? I want you to meet her. Of course I meet her. Why do you think I stopped the train? Oh, you stopped the train just... <laughs> Wait, I'll call her. Oh, Pancho. Yes? She thought your men were bandits. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we frighten her? No, she's used to seeing bandits in Hollywood. But not without her makeup on. I see she's ready yet. After all. What's the matter? You're disappointed? Sure I am. Diane Corday abducted by the Robin Hood of El Turas. What a front page story that would make. Jane, an inspiration's got me. It's shaking me like a tin can on the end of a dog's tail. Feel me vibrate? Ah, oh, that's the way it always happens. There's nothing I can do about it. I've just got to obey that impulse. Go away, Gary, and leave us alone. This must be the famous Pancho. Yes, I'm Pancho. Well, please don't be afraid. I'm not crazy, you know. No, he's not crazy. He uh, always acts a little odd that way when he's away from his horse. It isn't possible to wait any longer. We were only five hours late. But now look at that. Ah, never do today what you can put off till tomorrow. Hey, Conductor, will you shoot this out as soon as we hit town? Shoot, hit? What do you mean? Boy, will that crash the front page. Shoot, hit, crash? What is all this? And when can I start my train? Just as soon as we've been abducted. Abducted? Have you all gone crazy? Sure, how are you doing? How am I doing? He asked me how I am doing. With my career falling down around my head. <laughs> That's not your career, that's your hat. But why must you leave Alturas so soon? I thought you would all come with me to my hacienda for a visit. I stopped the train for that. We'd love to, but it's impossible. No, we really haven't time for that, Pancho. Time? What do we care about time? Well, Diane, tour is all book solid. Though we could cancel some of the bookings just for the sake of the story. What story? The one I sent out to the worldwide press, that you had been abducted by the Robin Hood of Alturas and carried off to the mountain. The Robin Hood of Alturas? Who's that? That's you! Why did you send me 
send that message? What did you do? Give it to the conductor? Get it back, Gary. No, no, no. I didn't give it to the conductor. I sent it from San Felipe the night I was celebrating. You send out such a ridiculous story about me? But, Dion, we can make it come true. It's the chance of a lifetime, a front page natural. You know how I detest fake publicity. I warn you, if you ever did anything like that again, but I would... I know you'd fire me, but it's a honey of a story just the same. Mr. Granero, you wouldn't mind abducting Miss Corday, would you? Just for one night. I'd be delighted. But I don't want to be abducted. Nobody wants to be abducted. Besides, Pancho is no abducted. Well, don't be too sure of that. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, stop it, will you? You're putting ideas in his head. This is an outrage. Don't you realize this is an express? Of course. But why worry? Look at your passengers enjoying themselves. That's so you have. <laughs> no, 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 I won't do it. But it would only be for a publicity gag. We could stay at Mr. Garnera's house overnight and catch the first train out in the morning. You don't know how much good it would do you, Diane. Of course. He would do it a lot of good. It's utterly stupid. Not so stupid. It would get her a million dollars worth of publicity and make the whole world Diane Corday conscious. And why not? I am Diane Corday conscious. Why shouldn't the whole world be Diane Corday conscious? Get ready, everybody. You're all coming with me. Now, wait a minute, Pancho. You can't do a thing like that. Of course I can do it. In these hills, I do as I please. You mean you're going to carry us off whether we like it or not? I'm going to make you like it. <laughs> we have pack horses for your baggage. Ladies, change into our riding clothes and make it snippy. Oh. Give me that, baby. Give me that. Where you going? Where you going? <laughs> I have six boy like this in my sienda, eh? <laughs> Pancho, you don't understand. Now, the lady is not on a vacation. This is a business trip. You know, she spoke to appear in theaters, you know, on time, for money. Well, we'll be glad to visit you sometime, but we can't now. <laughs> I understand. But I insist on you accept my hospitality. Or else you'll cram your hospitalities down our throat, huh? A fine friend you turn out to be. Here, I introduce you to the girl that I love, and you carry her off. What? Do you love her, too? What do you mean, too? I mean that we are both in the same fixes. But this way, we both get the same chances. It means if he might have come from the other direction. Look at that. He snarled at me. What's his name? Jose Maria. Jose, Jose is a man's name. Si, sí, senor. And Maria is a woman's name. Si, sí, senor. Well, you know more about mules than I do. <laughs> But very beautiful. Yes? No. It's gorgeous. But it's understood that we're going to stay at Rue Rastien only for one night. Catch the first train out in the morning. Hmm. There are no trains in the morning. There isn't another train in a week. And my hacienda is a full day's ride from the railroad. A full day's ride? A full day's ride? And I've never been on a mule before in my life. You got us into this. I hope you break your neck. Neck, yes, but you don't ride a mule on your neck. Abandon hope all ye who enter here, is that what you mean? It all depends on what you're hoping for. If I've come here of my own free will, I like it. But as it is, I hate it. Oh! You're tired. Tired? I won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll never forgive you for what you've done to us. Never? Never. Here, let me help you, dear. Can't you see that she wants you to leave her alone? Listen, I don't need any help from anybody. And I want you both to let me alone. So proudly, who's going to help me to do this? Who's going to help me to do that? Oh. There, you see what you've done? She's a wreck. No, I'm not a wreck. I'm just a little stiff, that's all. And you're a big stiff. 
nothing the matter with me except that I'm hungry and dirty and so is a boil down. Oh. And I am broken hearted. Yeah, you don't look it. Oh, is this your sister? No, this is Manuela. One sister. Very pretty. Mm, pretty kind of pictures. Manuela, meet my guest. <laughs> Miss Diane Corday, my friend Mr. Gary Owen. Delighted. Welcome to the Hacienda Lo Granero. I'll show you to your room. Senor, are you a man or are you a woman? What's it to you? Some of the men say you're a man. Some say you're a woman. So we make some bets and they sent me to find out. Oh, did they really? Will you tell them it's none of their business what I am? And it's none of your business either. Either. He looks like a man, but a brasa visto, she walks like a woman. <laughs> now look here, dynamite. You've been picking on me all the way up here. But if you doesn't happen to me again, I'm going to bust you right in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at my legs. They'll never be the same again. I'm ruined. Ruined for life. <laughs> This is the best my poor house can offer you. I'm sure you will sleep very comfortable here. I will, if there is a good strong bolt on the door. There isn't a bolt, but there is a good, healthy key. It's really a charming room, isn't it, Gary? It'll do for a prison. And see that you keep out of it. See that you both keep out of here. And now go. I will take a bath. Go on. Well, the lady wishes to take a bath. I heard her. This way out. After you, my friend. No, no. You go first. Oh, I insist. Insist all you please, but you go first. <laughs> but, my dear friend, oh, listen, well, why can't we arbitrate this? Of course we can. At the bar. Oh, the bar! Oh, well, we'll go together at the bar. I didn't know that, of course. I didn't know. Well, listen, my fine feathered caballero. Don't figure on hiding me in some faraway room in the house. I want a room right next to the arms. Why? Oh, I just want to keep my eye on her. But you trust her? Yeah, I trust her, but not you. <laughs> that would be your room. Right next door to her. Uh, Gus and Soda. How do I raise myself in this contraction? <laughs> they may throw cold water over you. Cold water? Don't you like cold water? Well, I can take it. <laughs> Why do you stare at me like this? Do I look so strange to you? You are very beautiful. Well, you don't call me yourself. I'm not surprised I've time to love you. Uh-huh, here it comes. Bandit gal jealous of kidnapped beauty. Probably has the letter and got her. Beauty very apt to get stuck. So you think Francho loves me? You know very well he does. He wants you. And you don't want him to get me, is that it? Perhaps the senorita would not object. Oh, but the senorita would object very much. I can't believe that. Well, I don't care whether you believe it or not. You don't want Pancho? No. I don't want Pancho. I take the cold water instead. Angel, allow a fria. Oh! I guess you're all a little bit mad at me. Yes? No? I give you dinner under the stars. Radio music from a New York hotel. I tell you funny stories and I still cannot make you smile. If you could only do card tricks. No. I'm not lucky at car. And Miss Evans, she's unhappy too? Oh, no, I'm doing all right. But I hate coming to dinner in these clothes. In excitement of leaving the train, I forgot my bags. I'm sorry. Is Miss Evans in the picture songs? Oh, good gracious, no. Jane wants to become a novelist. She's a frightful intellectual person. She doesn't look out, she'll grow up to be an old maid. Well, from what I've seen of men, I won't be missing much. Why? Don't you ever dream of love? Of course I dream of love. Pass the ketchup. <laughs> Excuse me for being late, folks. Is this my place? Yes, that's your chair. Well, well, everything looks just dandy, and can I go for it? <sighs> Sorry, folks. I'm afraid I can't take it. Do, do you mind if I eat my dinner off the radio? <laughs> Why not, if you like. That's fine. Thank you, thank you. That's just dandy. 
Attention, everybody. Interrupting the Tuscany Hotel Orchestra dance program with a new splash of international interest. New York. It is reported that Diane Corday, famous screen star, has been abducted in Alturas and is being held for ransom. Miss Corday's train was held up and she and her entire party were captured and carried off into the mountains by a bandit gang whose leader calls himself the Robin Hood of Alturas. The Robin Hood of Alturas. Turn out that thing, Colonel Barrera. Yes, Colonel. The Robin Hood of Alturas. Full Pancho. <laughs> I am afraid your friend has cooked his own goose this time. You are to take an escort of cavalry and proceed at once to the Hacienda de los Graneros. Yes, General. Come in. General? Oh, yes. Come in, gentlemen. Captain de Triana will have command of the men. You will arrest Granero and send him over to the captain. The captain will see that he reaches the capital. The captain will not stop to shoot him down. The captain will do his duty. And that is just what you want, General Valdez. You are Granero's worst enemy. You have always hated him. If I turn him over to the Triana, he will never reach the capital alive. And yet, you will do exactly as I tell you, Colonel Barrera. That's all, gentlemen. Good night. The finish of Granero. Huh. You should come along with me, Diane. This is the best time of day for a hike. No, thanks. I'm not a hiker. Well, I'm not going to give her my exercise just because we've been snatched. Don't get lost. <laughs> Don't worry, I can take care of myself. That's what they all say. Look, does the young man want a horse to ride? No, I think the young man prefers to walk. Is he mad? Quite mad. And he's not a young man, she's a young woman. A young woman with those pants? Yeah, it's a pity. A pity? It's a sin. She should be taken out of them. You're right. So, always when I come into Pancho's room, I find you here. What kind of a woman are you to have such a hold on him? You are the last one he sees at night and the first one he looks at in the morning. You seem very sure of yourself. And don't laugh at me or I don't. How do you like that, eh? Does it touch the spot? And I tell you, dear, what's nearest to my heart, although I try, try and try, don't know where to start. Words fail me in expressing how much you mean.
Very pretty, very pretty indeed. <laughs> you like it too? Like it? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Shall I sing it again? No, I'm all choked up now. I... Now, before you to stop bickering again, suppose you let me get in by success work. How long do you intend to hold us here? You are to be my guest until I make up your mind. Make up my mind to what? As to which of us you want. Well, I can do that right now. Do you think for one moment that... Do you think that... for one moment that a girl like Diane could be Gary, bad enough... Gary, please! No man can make up my mind for me. Because, because I... Because her mind was made up a long time ago. Will you please let me... Ah, but a woman so often changes the mind. Well, you can't say that about me. I don't want Gary to... Of course you don't want Gary. Well, I didn't mean that. I mean that... She meant she doesn't want you to think that she meant that she doesn't want me. Will you stop taking the words out of my mouth? Well, darling, I always know what you're going to say. You don't know what I'm going to say? There, what did I tell you? And now that you know, what do you think you're fighting about? The price package? Exactly. I won't be treated like that. I'm sick of it. It gives me a pain. Oh, you got a pain where? Oh, I wish I'd gone with Jane. <laughs> than you do, why don't you give them to him? I will not. How do you expect to get back to the rancho? You still have your legs to walk on. Quédense con los pantalones y vayas. Gracias, Don Juanito. Gracias. <laughs> there. You see how happy we've made him? How dare you let that dirty old thing take my clothes? You make him bring it back here. Come back here, you. Come back. Why, well, I've stopped him. But why do you get so excited just for a pair of pants? What are you doing now? Undressing. I'm going in swimming with you. you. I bet you I can stay under longer than you can. But you can't come in here with me. Why not? The pool is big enough. But I won't have it. You stop right where you are. Go where I am. Come out! Let it be! It. <laughs> Poor little thing. Are you hurt? Something nipped me under the water. I was more frightened than hurt. What was it? Just an old turtle that lives in the pool. A snapping turtle? I guess that's what you call him. I come here sometimes to feed him. He must have thought I threw you in for him to eat. Why didn't you tell me there was a snapping turtle in that pool? Oh, I knew he couldn't hurt you very much. And besides, it was good to hear you scream like a woman. It's about time you did something like a woman. Suppose I slapped your face. That would be like a woman. That would be very nice. Besides, I could kiss you. You wouldn't dare. Oh, yes, I would. But you'd have to take those windows off your eyes. Don't you know that they make you look like a howl? Like an owl? Yes. You try to look like a man, but you look like a howl. I don't try to look like a man. Then why do you wear your hair as if you are ashamed of it? My hair and all the rest of me is none of your business. Don't you see that I'm trying to make you my business? 
There, you see? You've got curls and you didn't know it. Oh, it always does that when I get stamped. You're very pretty, you know. You think so? Oh, but my job says are gone. What am I going to do? Your pants? From now on, you do without them. You're getting to look more like a woman every minute. You're very beautiful, you know. Oh, but you have everything here, Pancho. It's just like a little town. Yes, and I am the mayor. My, what a pretty baby. Yes, it's one of the Indian children. He uh, ought to go on a diet. Is that all the clothes they wear? They don't need any clothes. <laughs> Why don't they catch cold? <laughs> Does your face catch cold? Have a, Why have no. A... Well, this boy is all face. What's going on in election? No, tonight is a fiesta. I'm going to show you how my people laugh, live and love. Oh, a fiesta? <laughs> yes, tonight is the first full moon of the spring. Many of my people have got plenty of Indian blood inside. And they don't forget the old costume. What you will see tonight was in the old days a prayer to the Mother Moon. For good cops, healthy calves and many babies. away well we pray you stay with us ever and
Do you like our fiesta? Oh, it's wonderful. Do you think I look like a woman tonight? Too much. Where did you get that pretty dress? Oh, it's one of Dion's. I told you you were beautiful. Tonight, you look divine. Your mother, Mr. Moore. You would like to punch me in the nose, wouldn't you? I thought you were dangerous, but I didn't know you were a savage. Inside, we are all savages. You mean in Alturas? Don't blame it on Alturas. My father was an Alturian, but my mother, she was Irish. Oh, Spanish and Irish. Yes, don't you trust me now? Trust you? I trust you less than ever. Now I know you're dangerous. If love is dangerous. What makes you think I want your love? My love is a river that will not be damned. I'll damn it pretty quickly if you don't let me go. Why do you make love to me behind Gary's back? Why should I make love to you in front of his face? Besides, he was making love to you behind my back before I ever met you. Oh, but that's different. I've known him for years. Gary's your friend. Haven't you any code of honor? Too much for my own good, it seems. <coughs> Pardon me. If it hadn't been for that, I would have taken you off the train and brought you here without him. Oh, yeah? Stop, you fool! Was that addressed to me? More likely it had my name on it. No, it was meant for me. I think that punch that you gave me saved my life, Gary. My mistake. It won't happen again. Come on, Dion. Why did you do that? You could have hurt Miss Corday. I could do more than hurt her. Remember, it was you who taught me how to throw a knife. I did it to stop the fight. I don't want to see you hurt. Do you think he could hurt me? She can't hurt you. She'll bring death to you. But she's like me. And a man has got to fight for his life. Even if he loses it. Daybreak. And this is the night for us to make our getaway. What's the honey of a story that would make? Diane Corday escapes from bandit gang, dash for liberty led by son of Coffee King and daring press agent. Daring press agent gets shot in the melee. Yeah, mind it, that. That's not so good. The only way to get the story to the papers is for me to be one of the survivors. But don't you worry, Diane. Gary and I will defend you to the last breath. I'm all set, see? Where did you get that? I stole it from one of those brow shows. Uh, you know, in those bullfighters. It's got bullets in it. Look. Hey, let me take it. Yeah, you better keep it. I'd hate to hurt anybody with it, especially myself. Well, if I thought there was the slightest possibility that, I'd let you keep it. Yeah. Well, I'm too tired to escape tonight. Suppose we sleep on it and talk it over in the morning. Hmm? That is an excellent idea. I'm dead. Me too. I can always sleep. Good night, Dion, dear. Good night, Dion. Good night, uh, uh, Wilbur and... Uh, Night, Gary. Night, dear. So softly stealing through the robbers To my heart discloses Wonders I've never known the magic night inspires the song I sing you, hoping it may bring you to me, my own. Obey me, come out in the moonlight and share this enchantment with me. Oh, yummy, you are a lips in the moonlight and thrall me with sweet ecstasy. I need you, my lovely madonna, 
Why wait for mañana? Come live while we may And say you are my dear host Baby, I'm here I find heaven nearer When you are nestled here In my arms Diane, won't you say goodnight to me? You'd be up to something like this? Something like what? To say goodnight to her? Good night? <laughs> Listen, it's not goodnight you want to say. Be careful, Gary. I don't want trouble with you. Trouble? Listen, fast worker, you're all set for a massacre. Why didn't you knock, Manuela? I did. But you were so busy you didn't hear me. The night air is cold. I brought the blankets for you. How sweet of you. Are you waiting for Pancho here? What do you mean by that? If it's fight you want, we go someplace where Diane cannot hear it. She'd like to hear it. She'd like nothing better than to see me smash your guitar over your head. My guitar. Well, your piano then, whatever it is. I don't believe that. You don't? Well, I'll prove it to you. I may find you a much better wife than you ever could. I've no doubt of that. I'd give him David. One, two, three, as many as he likes. All right, go on, give them to him. Who's stopping you? You are stopping me. You could never love him as I do. Love, love, love. Is that all you think about in this country? No wonder you fight so much. Pancho, what have you done? You killed him. No, I didn't kill him. But he's wounded. Where was the hit? Oh, on the chin, but with this. On the chin? But where are the shots? Well, he had a gun in his pocket. When we fight, the, the gun went off, and he nearly hit himself in the foot. Oh, but you tried to kill him. You're a savage. I hate the sight of you. Oh, you don't mean that, dear. Yeah, I do mean it. Why didn't you leave us alone? Gary and I were happy to get until you came along. Well, you say that because he's hurt, because you're sorry for him. It's not true. I'll always love him. Then you shall marry him. Bet you like to marry him, won't you, sweetheart? Why, uh, of course, dear. Uh, we'll be married just as soon as we get away from this terrible place. Oh, no. You'll marry him before you get away. We have a priest here. You'll marry him tomorrow morning. That's a swell idea. Now, wait a minute. Who do you think you are? You can't dictate to me like this. But you love him. Yes, I love him. But I'll marry him when and where I please. And if only where you are. You'll marry him here tomorrow morning. Congratulations, Gary. I'll be your best man. And may the best man win. Enrique Pancho. How many men have you? Enough. Don't be foolish, my friend. Have you treated your guests well? <laughs> they have enjoyed themselves. And the uh, beautiful Miss Corday. Where is she? Oh, I treat her very nicely. She's as good as new. Oh, it was crazy trick to steal her, Pancho. Wait till you see her, Enrique. <laughs> I have seen her. I wish I had stole her myself. <sighs> but uh, you are under arrest, though. Pancho, we won't let them take you. Our fighting men are coming in from the hills. We can drive these Federals into the valley. And then the government will send troops, and our own people will kill each other. I'm not worth that, man. Send the men back to their homes. Pancho, what are they going to do? It's all right, Manuela. Ask Gary to meet us in my room. But, Pancho... All right. Do as I tell you. This way, gentlemen. There are other charges for which you are tried and sentenced to life imprisonment. But I was tried to this province instead, Gary. I can thank Colonel Barrera for that. If it hadn't been for his influence. Unfortunately, my influence is not so good at present. Pancho, 
We have been ordered to send you to the capital under guard. Well, at least I make the trip in good company. Don't be too sure of that. Would you excuse us, Mr. Owen? Very well. But does this mean that they may carry out the original sentence? It looks that way. Well, holy smoke, you can't let that happen. Suppose we refuse to bring charges. That will make no difference, senor. An example must be made. I know, but after all, no harm was done. Well, don't you worry, Pancho. When we get to San Felipe, we'll put it up to the American Consul. Call us when you're ready, Colonel. Your friend is an optimist. Pancho, the captain will be in command of the guard that go to San Felipe. I see. And his report will be that the prisoner was shot while trying to escape. Hey, Colonel Barrera, when a man is sentenced to death, the least one can do is tell him the truth. And the truth is you have been ordered to murder, my friend. You are wasting time, gentlemen. Lieutenant. Sir. Get the men that will escort the prisoner. Surround the party. We'll meet you there. Will you please, Senor Granero? We are here to rescue you. Rescue me from Pancho? And suppose I don't want to be rescued. What then? <laughs> suppose she doesn't want to be rescued. What then? But you have to be rescued. The government has ordered it. All right, all right. I'm rescued, and that's that. And now we all take a pleasant trip to the capital, explain to the government, and call it a day, huh? I am afraid this will not be sweet. Your friend Pancho will go with me and my men. Those are orders. And do you guarantee to deliver him safely? I'll deliver him. This man is planning to kill him, Colonel. Are you going to let him get away with it? Miss Corday, I am acting under orders from military governor. My hands are tied. Pancho, why did you take that chance? Forgive me, I, I didn't want you to know about it. What did he do? It nothing. It wasn't his fault. I was more to blame than he. Don't you see? I want him to do it. Beyond. Gary. Oh, I get it. You mean, you love him? Sure, that, that's what she means. Heck, I might have known that would happen. Viziana, you hear that? She loves him. Sure she does. Be a sport, can't you? I'm taking my prisoner with me now. Pancho, you don't have to go with them. Where are your men? We're here, Miss Corday. You see? If this soul is one obey you, other man will. What? If I promised you that no harm would come to Pancho, would you take him to the capital and send him over to the government? To the government? That's asking a lot, senorita. But don't you understand? I love him. Oh, that's different. Do you hear that, my pretty one? She loves him. 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 Your men will shoot, Senor Granero. Senor Granero, 
you'll have to shoot me too. How will you explain that to your government? He won't live to explain it. <laughs> you are beating, Captain. Raising wind. You know that they always do. <laughs> no. I have just received word that our country is at war, so we're not going to put him in jail. No. My men and I are needed to fight. But, Pan. I know. You told them that you love me. But I knew it was just to save my life. It was a sweet lie, and I will hear it always, singing in my heart. Okay, Gary? Okay, pal.